Hi YouTube, here I am with a new Python session. Down here on my webcam you can see I have created this little board here. I have soldered this 7 segments display and this dip switches to a parallel port connector. And my goal for today's video is to control these boards by using the Python module PyParallel. But before I start let me just explain how the parallel port works and what the parallel port is. So here I am at the Wikipedia page of the parallel port because I need some pictures here. And the first thing you have to know is parallel ports were used before USB was popular. So with a parallel port you could connect and peripherals like printers or joysticks to your PC. And for this purpose, this 25 um, pin connector was used. And if we scroll down, scroll down here a little bit, we can see a picture of the pinout. So as you can see here, some pins are just ground pins. The rest are input and output pins using a 5 volt transistor to transistor logic. So if a pin is high, the level should be 5 volt, and if the pin is low, the level should be 0 volt. And the parallel port uses three 8 bit registers. The first 8 bit reg register is connected to these 8 data out pins, and if you set the, the register to 255, all five, all eight pins are high, and if you set it to zero, all five pins are low. The next byte contains these five input pins here. And you can see from the name it was used for a printer's interface, because this pin here is called paper and, and so if um, a printer went out of paper, it would set this pin here high, and the PC knows, okay, um, there is no paper in the printer. And these um, inputs have uh, an internal pull-up, so if you doesn't connect any voltage to it, you will read back a one, all ones by reading the register, but if you pull one to ground, or connect one to, of them to ground, the desired bit will be zero instead of one. And the third byte are those five outputs again, and for them the same is true like for the data out pins here. Um, if you write a one to one pin, you will get a high level on the pin. If you write a zero to it, you will get a low level to it. Okay, but now we have a problem. Modern PCs um, don't have a parallel interface anymore, and my laptop surely doesn't have one. So I need a hardware with a parallel um, port. And I was lucky to found an old PC at home. Here it is. It's a PC from about 2005 or 2006, but it already has a x86 single core AMD processor. And if we look at the pinout, you can see we have a parallel port interface up here, and a second one, which is um, on a PCI card down here. So let's try to access it by using the PyParallel library. So see, here I am connected to my old PC over SSH, and I'm already root users because I need root privilege to write to the parallel port. So first let's look at the device files, and here we can see our two parallel ports interface. This up here, per, per port 0, is this interface, and per port 1 is this down here. To install um, pi parallel, all you have to do is use pip install pi parallel, or if you want to use the standard package manager, here I'm running Debian, so I would have to type apt install python parallel. And that's it. So now I will start Python 3 and I will import the parallel module. The first thing we have to do is we have to create a 
an object which will where over which we can control our parallel part and I will just call it part here and it's from the class parallel punct parallel <laughs> and here we can set the name which is def par port zero in our case okay and you've seen the screen turned blank but before I continue I should tell you how I connected um, these seven second display for this purpose I have here a picture of a seven second display and all segments are are given a letter up here we have a and I've connected a to data zero b is connected to data bit one c to data bit two and so on and my seven second display has a point here the point is connected to the last data pin D7. So now if I would, so now I can use um, the method set data to set a value to the data pins. And if I set the first, um, if I set it to one, this segment up here should start shining. And it works. So let me just import um, the sleep function from time import sleep and here I will create a short loop in which so now I will set every segment to one so we will have um, the light going through all the segments and at the end only the point should be on. Okay, let's go. Yeah, looks good. Okay, so all my output works. I, I, I wish I could say the same thing for the inputs. So I've connected um, here a ground uh, ground to my um, to my PC because I made the mistake. I thought I would need pull down resistors here, and I've connected the end of this resistors to ground but I forget about the internal pull-up resistors so I will change this and two pins won't work but how can we read back the value of the pin for this purpose we can use the function get or the method get in and then the name of the pin so first pin we will use is the acknowledge pin so um, get in acknowledge should now return uh, true or oh, false because I've set um, the pin to ground here but I have a soldering problem it, um, I can set the switch any way I want I will always get a true back but luckily um, the next pin the busy pin will work so now I should read back um, true and if I connect the pin to ground I should get back false. Okay let's try it for um, paper out. Okay now it's false because I've connected it to ground it's the third pin here and I've set it to um, down here I should get back a uh, one true yeah. Now let's try select Now, yeah, it's connected to ground, so it's okay. And if I switch it back to this position, I should get back true. And the last pin, the arrow pin, won't work too. Regardless of the state of the pin, I will only get back true, but I think it's a soldering problem and I can fix it if I um, check the virus on the board. Okay, so that's it. That's how to control these little boards over the parallel port by using the Python module PyParallel. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and goodbye.